I am Christy Dees, a psychiatric social worker. I started off wanting to go into nursing, changed my mind, went into criminal justice, changed my mind, went back to nursing, changed my mind, went and had a family, uh, went back to school in my late 30s, uh, got my degree at Chemeketa, my associate's a transfer degree, um, then went and did night classes at PSU for my bachelor's degree for a couple of years, and then started the um, distance option program with, M, uh, with PSU uh, to get my master's in social work, and that took me three years. I've been here for over 12 years at the hospital, but I've only been a social worker for a year and a half. I was a mental health therapist for the previous 10 and a half or so years. I had a real compassion for those patients who were suffering with mental illness, because like cancer, none of us ask to become mentally ill. None of us ask to become you know, cancer patients. So that's what led me to go back and uh, to work here. And then as I worked here, I slowly started wanting to have more of a voice on the team and have more of a clinical opinion. I love my job. I get to really support the recovery model and work and help patients leave the hospital. Social work is very broad, um, but I think one of our main focuses is discharging patients, is getting patients ready to go out into the community, getting the community ready to accept their people back, working with partners to provide the best care possible when the patient leaves. I'm able to be a part of a team who stabilizes a patient and moves them back into their community. And I meet them the day they come in. And discharge is talked about from the first meeting. We really want to pin down what we need to do to get this patient back into their community. So I try to be involved every step of the way. Teaching them the expectations, what's expected from them on the outside um, is another big thing. Getting them prepared for what's going to happen when they leave the hospital. I have a client right now who's having a lot of stress about leaving the hospital. He's been here four or five years and it's every day it's a new question. It's, can, am I going to be able to do this? Am I going to be able to do that? And it's having, it's very gratifying to be able to sit down, let him vent his frustrations, his unknowns, his stress, and then validate that for him and say this has to be very, very, you know, scary for you. And um, so being able to say that you're stressed out so that somebody can help you, I think is important. My greatest rewards is when I can work with a client, um, maybe one-to-one, -to, -one, um, to accept uh, discharge. Um, on my end, I have patients who don't always want to leave the hospital. And when I can do that and I can work with them, I can do individual therapy with them and we can move them out into the community in a safe manner, um, that's always rewarding. Any, any discharge is a rewarding discharge, getting someone back to their community. The way community um, views people with mental illness is the greatest um, challenge we have. Um, not in my backyard, not in my neighborhood. We can't have a, we can't have a patient in our neighborhood. Well, and the fact of the matter is, is that these patients are just like you and I. They have, but they have a mental illness. And who knows, you and I may have a mental illness too that just happens to be, you know, controlled and maybe this one doesn't, but that still means that they're humans and they deserve to be treated like humans.